Hey you guys, I'm doing my Friday favorites today. I have a lot of stuff. So much stuff and I have something really big <laughs> to show you guys towards the end. So let's just get right into it. Okay, let's start with food. This isn't open because I finished the first pack already. Um, this is the Benton Cookies Candy Cane Chocolate Sandwich Creams. They're basically like Oreos and the filling tastes like candy canes. So good. Like... I dare you to just eat one of these. It's impossible. Like, you're going to eat, like, 20 of these in one go. It's kind of insane. So, I've been loving that this month. And I got it from Aldi, which is a grocery store. Okay. Next is my Clean and Clear Morning Burst Skin Brightening Facial Cleanser. Oil-free. Wakes you up. It definitely wakes me up, for sure. So nice. Like, bright lemon colored. It's almost finished has those beads in there. It's so great. It's lathered on my hands and then my whole face, my neck, everything, and it just works so great. Ugh, it smells so good. Let's do a little description on this. Why not? Have some fun. Ugh, it smells like lemon, like literally I'm gonna like lemon heaven. Like I'm picking lemons, I'm having lemon pie, I'm just lemony snicket. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my One Direction shower gel, you and I. Really, really cute. This is almost finished, so this will be in the empties probably next time, or I don't know when, but soon. Um, but yeah. Oh, it just smells so good, you guys. Oh my god. Oh, and I got some on my hands. Okay, um, yeah, it just smells super good. It smells just like high-end. That's why I like it. Like, you think, oh, it's like a girly... Boy band. No, 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 no. This was really high-end, and there's, like, water all over it now. Okay, um, yeah. So it smells really high-end. The scent, it smells super good. Okay, let's talk about this. <laughs> um, so you guys know that I'm, well, some of you might know, I'm lactose intolerant. So, like, I don't really, I need, I, I lack lactose. Yeah. Like, my, oh, my body doesn't digest lactose, which is, like, in cheeses and milks and stuff. So, I need stuff to break it down. Yeah, so, this is a Walmart brand dairy digestive supplement. And I take a couple of these right before I have, like, a meal that has a lot of dairy products in it. And it just breaks it down for me. And I don't have a lot of, um, gas. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> and then this you can take afterwards if you want. And I take one of these. Yeah, and this is just a doctor's choice. You can get it at the drugstore. Okay, <laughs> just have to quickly put that in there because it's really been helping my stomach a lot. Um, another scent description, Justin Bieber's girlfriend. I love that little heart on it. It's so adorable. The girlfriend perfume. This is so good. I'm like almost, well, I wouldn't say almost done, but I've used like most of it. It just smells really pretty. This is a really good scent to like if you're going out, like for a girl's night or like a date. Mm-hmm. Smells super good. Ugh. Just so fabulous. Justin makes really good scents. Mm. Okay, <laughs> putting everything down there. So let's talk about let's talk about this blush first. Okay, so this blush from Wet n Wild that I've been loving all month. It's super pigmented. It's Heather Silk. It's a32E Heather Silk. <laughs> and it is the perfect pink blush. It's so pigmented. If you're looking for a really good pigmented blush, this is it. It is so nice. It's like a pretty mauve pink. But it, I don't know. I mean, I say mauve, but it kind of. It's just a perfect pink. It really is. For every skin tone. How about that? So. Okay. And then my Fit Me powder and my Fit Me um, liquid and <laughs> powder foundations. Matte poreless for normal to oily skin in the shade 130 Buff Beige. And the powder is the same. I've been really, really happy with these foundations. I'm wearing it today, it's so great. It's the powder. 
definitely recommend this. I have a huge review coming up. I don't know if it's going to be posted before or after this, but I have a huge review on this. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. And if I haven't posted it yet, then it'll be up soon. <laughs> okay. And then, of course, the L'Oreal one. L'Oreal Infallible. I've been loving this month as well. Liquid foundation. And this is the powder. And then the liquid foundation is in 107 Fresh Beige. And the powder is in 500 Sun Beige. Ugh. Just can't say enough about it. Um, I will say that this is not full coverage, the Infallible. But it just blends in so beautifully to my skin. It just makes my skin look so young and fresh and beautiful. So, I mean, I just have to um, embrace it and love it. And then I'm not really like a huge in like... I'm not really huge into coverage anymore. I used to be like, okay, if it isn't full coverage, I'm not going to use it. But I'm not really like that anymore. For mascaras this month, um, the, I'm going back to basics with this Great Lash Maybelline Big Mascara. It's, in the, it's the pink and green one. It's in every drugstore. You probably use it, have it in your collection, I'm sure. And let me show you the bristle, the brush or bristle, whatever. It's a nice big brush. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put this over here. Okay. And then I guess we'll do the mascaras first and then I'll do a concealer. Uh, Voluminous Miss Manga. Black and hot pink packaging, which I love. The brush looks, ugh, the blush is, blush, wow. Brush is so clumpy, though. So that would be like a negative, but I love this mascara. It's definitely worth the hype for sure. And then the Wet n Wild Coverall um, Concealer Stick from Wet n Wild, yeah. Really, really good. In the shade Medium. And I'm using this under my, my eyes, doing the triangle and blending it with my beauty blender. And it just does the trick. And I like it a lot. Okay. Um, my L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Ascender Setting Spray. This will be in the review as well. I have a giant review on all these foundations and this coming up. Ah, this is perfection. Lifesaver. This will be in my Holy Grail makeup products coming up whenever I do that this year because I'm obsessed. It just makeup, you don't have to blot. Like, blotting is like not, uh, it is a non issue after that. Yeah, non issue. Okay, and the rest are just like different stuff, and then I'm gonna end with TV shows and songs. Okay, my Swiss Miss uh, Marshmallow uh, Hot Chocolate. Living for this, obsessed. You can get this everywhere Target, Walmart, maybe even the drugstore. I don't even know. Comes a six pack of hot cocoa with little mini marshmallows. Um, Says we use real milk, but don't worry, I got my tablets for that girl. So, <laughs> um, just love it. This was in my winter essentials video too because it just mm, almost every day I have a hot chocolate. It's like my splurge for the day. I love it. Okay, and then this purse I've been rocking all month. It's a Celine inspired bag from Payless, Christian Seriano brand. I love it. Black and white. And it's really pretty blue uh, midsection. I love it a lot. And the handles are nice and long. So you can wear it cross elbow, cross arm, and on your shoulder, which is just great. I mean, right? Multifunctional. Or you can just like carry like that and be like, ooh, girl, yeah. <laughs> so I've been loving this bag all month. I wanted to share that with you guys. And then, ooh, <laughs> this bag once has a mind of its own. Okay. <laughs> Um, the thing is, that's everything. That's almost everything. And then I'm gonna do, um, okay, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna do songs last. Um, and, and uh, TV shows. Okay. Okay. You guys, a special guy in my life surprised me this Valentine's Day with. <laughs> Look what he surprised me with. This cute big bear. You can't even see it right now. He's so big, but like this is his head. He's so cute. He's a red ribbon, and then look at his body. He's a huge body. <laughs> he's like a four foot tall bear. He's so big, and he's his legs and his cute little paws. 
This is huge. I had to put them in my monthly favorites. It is adorable. Yeah, he's so cute. You'll, you'll probably see him in my next morning routine or something because I put him on my bed and it's so cute. In my spring morning routine, I'm sure you'll see him. Ooh, and I named him Danny because <laughs> he's all friendly and cuddly like a Danny would be, I guess. Um, okay, so that's that. And then I have a few songs and a few things. Okay. So, TV shows and songs. So, TV shows, obviously, Shameless is back, living for it. Um, just love it on Showtime. If you're not watching it, you need to. Um, I know Walking Dead is back. I haven't caught up with the, this, the rest of this season so far. The mid-season finale last year was so intense. Obviously, if you don't know, Beth dies, so... Yeah. Spoiler alert, but if you haven't seen it yet, girl, you need to get on that, so sorry. Um, wait, is Beth is the blonde girl, right? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, wow. You know what I mean, right? Okay, I'm getting too excited. I'm talking too fast. I need to slow it down. Slow it down, girl. Slow it, slow it down. Um, Scandal. Oh my god, better than ever. Scandal is so good. Olivia Pope is bae. Loves it. Better than anyone right now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what else. Okay, this is so random, but, like, I don't really watch The Fosters every single week, but I really, really love, um, <laughs> I film them from a window, so people, like, walk by, and it's kind of awkward sometimes. But, like, okay, I really love, um, okay, there's this guy, his character is Jesus or something on The Fosters. He used to play Selena Gomez's younger brother on Wizards of, Wizards of Waverly Place. He has gotten so hot. Like, I was watching the show randomly, and I was, like, really bored. It was, like, on the background, I was, like... Oh, damn, he's hot. Like, suddenly, like, damn, boy, you are sexy. I think his name is... I forgot his name in real life. I don't know. But he's hot, though, for real, though. Mm. Grew up, girl. Mm -hmm. Um, and then what else? That's all I can remember. Anyway, so songs. So, Nick Jonas. Oh, my God. First of all, Zac Efron will always be my number one husband, but Nick Jonas is, like, close second because he's everything right now to me. And his song Chains right now, this new one, is beyond everything. Like, literally, like, you got me in chains for your love. You got me in chains. Oh, my God. This YouTube it right after this video because it's so good. Ugh, oh, obsessed. And then, lastly, for my last song, Prince Royce. Um, his latest song was Snoop Dogg. Oh, my God. I forgot the name of the song. <laughs> But yeah, his Lino and me, right? The one on the radio, I think it's Can't Stop This Feeling or something like that. I don't know. It's really good, though. Prince Royce, Snoop Dogg, the one that's out right now. So YouTube that if you haven't already. It's so good. I love the beat and the lyrics. And I just love Snoop Dogg when he's, like, randomly in songs. I, th I think he's a really good voice. Okay, so that's pretty much all I want to talk about. <laughs> oh, and oh my god, before I ever go. Okay. Trevor Moran. Oh my god. Huge fan of him. He's a YouTuber. Part of O2L, but they broke up. Anyway. Um, his songs, um, Echo and Slay are everything to me right now. You watch me slay, watch me slay, oh my god, so good. And then Echo, uh, oh my god, it's just, just YouTube everything I said in this video, it's so good. Okay, so that's all I want to say. I feel like there's more stuff, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, if you haven't already followed me on social media, definitely do so. Links will all be below this video. And uh, hit the subscribe button to keep up with all my videos I do on this channel every single day. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, see you for some fabulous. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, you guys.